Ajay and today we are going to see an assembly language program. The program is write an assembly language program to exchange block of five data stored in memory location 4000H onwards with data stored in the memory location 3000H onwards. So you can see that in the memory from the 4000H onwards five data are stored and from the 3000H onwards, 5 data are stored. We have to write an assembly language program to exchange this 5 data which is stored from the 4000H with 5 data which is stored from the 3000H onwards. It means the data which is stored in the 4000H will be transferred to 3000H and data which is stored in the 3000H will be transferred to 4000H. After that, the data which is stored in the 3001H will be transferred to 4001 and from the 4001 it will be transferred to 3001. So we have to exchange the data. Now for this program, we have to use this many registers. The first one is the accumulator, then there is a register B. We will use register B as a temporary register. To exchange data, we need some temporary register to store. So the register B is used to store the data temporarily. After that, the register C. We will use this register C as a counter. We have to exchange block of five data. After we have exchanged one data, after the exchange of one data is done, the value of the counter will be decremented by one. So we will initialize the counter, the register C with five. After we have exchanged one data, the value of the counter will be 4. After we have exchanged two data, the value of the register C will become 3. So it will decrement every time we have exchanged one data. After that, we will use the HL and the DE pair. The HL pair it will be used as source memory pointer and the DE pair will be used as destination memory pointer. So what is the source memory pointer? It is a memory location from where we will receive the data. So we will consider the source memory pointer. We will initialize the source memory pointer with 4000H. Because we will receive the data from the 4000H and the D will be considered as destination pointer and we will initialize the destination pointer with 3000H. Now let's see the program. So first of all, let's initialize the counter. So for that we will use the instruction MVIC05H. If the block of data is 10, then you have to write MVIC0AH. A means 10 in hexadecimal. After that, we will initialize the source and the destination pointer. So let's initialize the source pointer LXI H 4000H. So in the HL pair 4000H will be stored. After that, let's initialize the destination pointer LXI D 3000H. So the DE pair will contain 3000H. The register C will contain 05H. So initialization is done. Now let's exchange the data which is stored in the 4000H with 3000H. So we will first move that data in the accumulator. So let's write the instruction. M O V A comma M. M O V A comma M. It means move data from memory to accumulator. Which memory location specified in HL pair? In HL pair 4000H is specified. So when this instruction is executed, the data which is stored in the 4000H will be transferred to the accumulator. Now let's move this data to register B. So we will use the instruction M O V B comma A. So in the register B, 88H will be stored. Now let's move the 33H to the accumulator. So we will use the instruction L D A X D. L E S D it means load data to accumulator from the memory location specified in D E pair. In the D E pair 3000H is specified. So in the accumulator we will get. 33H. Right? Now we will store this data to the 4000H. So we will use the instruction M O V. We will use the instruction M O V M comma 
A. So from the actual data, data will be stored in the memory location. Which memory location? Specified in HL pair. So from the accumulator, data will be stored in the 4000H. So in the 4000H, you will get 33H. Now we have to move the data which is stored in the register B to the 3000H. So let's move the data to the accumulator MOV A, B. It means the data which is stored in the register B will be transferred to the accumulator. So we will get here 88H. After that, we will store this data to which memory location? 3000H. So we will use the instruction STAXD. STAXD means store data from accumulator to memory location specified in DE pair. In the DE pair, 3000H is specified. So from the accumulator, the data will be transferred to the memory location 3000H. Now, one data is successfully exchanged. So, how many data are remaining? Four data. Now, uh, to which memory location we have exchanged the data? We have to exchange the data with the memory location 4001H and 3001H. It means we have to increment the source memory pointer and the destination memory pointer. As well as we have to decrement the counter. Why? Because from five data, one data is exchanged successfully, one pair of data is exchanged successfully, and how many uh, exchange is remaining? Four. So first of all, let's increment the HL and the D. So we will use the instruction I and X, H. So the value of the HL will be incremented by one. Then I and X, D. So D will be incremented by one. And the value of the register C will be decremented D C R C. So it will become 4. Now, how many times we have to repeat this process? So we have to repeat this process until the value of the register C becomes 0. When the value of register C becomes 0, it means we have exchanged successfully 5 data. So after this, we will use the instruction jump not 0 to loop. Now with the assembly language program, the position of the label is very important. If you specify any label and if you put the label just before or after the desired position, in that case, the whole program will be messed up. So right now, where we have to specify the loop? So again, we have to exchange this data and this whole process should be start from again this instruction. So again, the data will be moved from the memory to accumulator. Which memory? From the 4001H. Then after we will store to register B temporary. After that, we will load the data from the memory location specified in DE pair. Again, we will exchange and then after we will increment the HL and D. So it will become 4002, then it will become 3002. Again, the value of the register C will be decremented. So it will become 3. And again, the value of C is not 0. So again, the whole program will be jumped to loop. This whole loop will be ex executed until the value of the C becomes 0. As soon as the value of C becomes 0, the program will not jump to loop and we will use the instruction HALT. It means stop the program. Okay? So this is how the exchange of the data is performed.